welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about pronouns, but we are mainly going to focus on subject and object pronouns. So what is a subject pronoun? Subject pronoun is a subject of a sentence, and the object pronoun can act as the object of a sentence. So the first one we have here on the board is I. For example, I. I am Fabby. I. Hello. I am Fabby. I. All right. So we call this first person singular. And so what does singular mean? Singular means one. So I'm talking about me. I'm talking about one person, I. All right. And the object pronoun is me. Me. So this is first person singular, two. All right. So for example, I am Fabby. Do you like me? 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 Yes, I and me. I and me are first person singular pronouns. For example, um, if I say something like, Fabi is driving a car. Then I could easily take this out. We don't need it. And you can say, I can say, I, I, then we would take this one away, I am, I am driving a car. So that it is, that is why we call it a subject pronoun, because it is a subject of the sentence. And let's use another example. Um, let me think. <laughs> um, oh, I know. My, my dog loves Fabby. So who is Fabby? Who is Fabby? I am Fabby. So we could easily remove this and say, my dog loves me. Yes, not I, not my dog loves I. My dog loves me. So, that is how we use a subject and object pronoun. The subject of a sentence is a doer of the action, someone or something that is doing something. And the object of a sentence is receiving the action. Okay, so, um, now we have you. You is second person. And it is singular or plural sometimes. Let's call it singular this time. Singular, and this one too. Singular, second person singular. So what does this mean, second person? Well, if there is another person in front of me, for example, you watching this video now, I would say you, you rock, you're cool. Yes, so that is you, second person singular. For example, um, <laughs> the students, or the student, is learning. The student is learning. So who is a student? You! You are the student! So we could easily take this away and use you instead. You! But we use are, right? Not is. You are learning. You! You are learning now. Alright? And, well, so on. The next one is um, first person, first person plural. But what is plural? Well, you know, plural means more than one. That means two, three, four, five, twenty, thirty, a hundred, a million. All right. So, so many, 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 many. That is plural. So, and us is also first person plural. So for example, let's say um, Fabi and the student 
are speaking English or are speaking simply. Because Fabi and the student are speaking. That means Fabi, me, and the student, you. So we would do something like this. Ooh, go away, we don't want you. Too long. <laughs> so we use we. We. We are speaking. Who? You and I. We. We are speaking. Yes. All right. So that is how we use that one. And for example, um, this video is for all students or all learners. This video is for all learners in the world, around the world. So instead of using all learners, I could say, I could easily change this and use you. This video is for you, all learners, all right? But in this case, I'm using this you, which can also be plural, all right? So we have I, first singular, you, second person singular, we, first person plural, they, they is third person. Third person plural. And he is third person singular. He and she and it are also third person singular. Yes, for example, let's say I have a friend. Her name is Maria. So let's say Maria is um, a good person. Maria is a good person. So instead of saying Maria, we could use she. Yes. She is a good person. Maria is a woman. She is a good person. Or let's say my dog. My dog is very noisy. My dog is very noisy. Rawr, rawr, rawr. He barks all the time. He's very noisy. So I call him he, but it's not correct actually. <laughs> we should say it. It. It is very noisy. But you know, sometimes, sometimes, if you love your pet very much, we can use he or she is very noisy, right? Because if you love your pet so much, then you can use those for people. So thank you for watching this part of the video. Let's go to the next part. It's practice time. All right, so let's practice now. So we have some sentences here written on the board so you can see how to use pronouns, subject and object pronouns. So yes, they're very useful and you can see it right here. Fabi is a teacher. I don't have to use my name to say, hey, Fabi is a teacher. That would be um, unusual. So I could use I. I am, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. And well, the second one is, Students learn English. We don't need to use this. We could simply say they. They learn English. They learn English. All right. And then we have John drives a car. We could simply say he. He drives a car. And then we have Cindy runs for fun. We could use she. She runs for fun. My car is red. It is red. Sam loves Jane. He loves Jane. My cat eats chicken. It eats chicken. All right, so that's how we use subject pronouns in everyday life. We use them every day. Now let's see 
Object pronouns, we don't need them. No, yes, we do, we need them. <laughs> For example, my cat eats chicken. We could simply say it. My cat eats it, right? And he loves, he loves her. All right, so our John drives it. English is also it. Yes. So we can also use those in everyday conversations. For example, he loves her. He loves her very much. When you know what you're talking about, you just use subject and object pronouns. Yes, who you are talking about. All right, well, in the next part of the video, I will leave you some homework so that you do it in case that you want to practice. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so here's your homework. We have two sentences on the board. I want you to write them in the comment section below this video, but using subject and object pronouns. For example, Jane and Peter, this is the subject of the sentence. So which one are you going to use? Or David, he is the subject of the sentence. So which, which subject are you going to use? And we have Frank and French. They're the objects, objects of the sentence. So which ones are you going to use? All right, so I'll leave them in the comment section below this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, or ideas, um, please let me know in the comment section below this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know too. I don't care. <laughs> well, thank you. See you next time. Bye.